Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 120 is a combination of off-road capability, comfort, and reliability. He also knows how to charm his owners 8 out of 10 are happy with everything and are not ready to part with him. In the article we will understand how everything goes smoothly. Should I mess with a big frame SUV with mileage? If you decide, then read below what to look for when buying a used Prado 120. Body the frame of the TLC Prado 120 is associated with something unshakable and eternal, but this is not always the case. Its first enemy is corrosion. This is especially true for instances in the possession of true SUVs. Dirt and water get inside the frame and make the corrosion process almost irreversible. In urban use and with anti-corrosion treatment, the problem of a rusty frame may not be. It is imperative to check, since a number is stamped on the frame. If the number is damaged or there are traces of non-factory welding, registration will not be possible. The body itself corrodes reluctantly and also largely depends on the operation. The more dirt Prado sees, the more rust on it. Check the first outbreaks on the back door and under the plastic lining of the arches and doors. With severe chips on the hood, the paint may swell. Toyota Prado has very easy to change plates with VIN number. They are on rivets. Do not spare the money and time for a legal check of the car before buying. The love of Prado in criminal circles and the popularity of the model significantly increased the likelihood of meeting a dubious copy. The body number, frame and documents of the car should not raise any doubts. The Prado 120, unlike the Land Cruiser 100, also has a three-door body modification. It is very rare 5 out of 500 cars for sale, and it differs only in size. Do not jump to conclusions if the windshield of the Land Cruiser Prado 120 is not native. Toyota made it a little fragile. It is quickly overwritten and easily broken due to oncoming pebbles. Prado 120 engines the choice of motors is small, but they are all very reliable. There are a couple of questions about diesel engines. Almost all of them concern our bad fuel and SOSO service. More details below. Petrol 2.7 liters. The motor is reliable and one of the most controversial in terms of choice. Discussions on the topic goes does not go, eats does not eat still exist. Officially, this engine was not supplied to Europe. Until 2004, the Prado 120 was equipped with a modification of the 3RZ FE engine. That's just the most complaints about him does not go. After 2004, they began to install a modified version of the 2TR FE engine with VVTI. They also added a new plastic intake manifold and an electronic gas pedal. As a result, 1, plus 13 horsepower, 2, better traction on bottoms, 3, gasoline consumption is less by 1.5 to 2 liters 100 kilometers of course compared to the older 4 liter brother this is a small breakthrough but for a leisurely movement around the city is enough in this case the consumption will be in the region of 15 liters per 100 kilometers it is not easy to carry two tons of weight therefore the load on the four-cylinder engine is large the resource of trouble-free operation is 250 to 300,000 km under difficult operating conditions. You may have to change the stretch timing chain after 150,000 km the front crankshaft well seal may leak, but this is not a global problem. 3.4 liters. Already 6 cylinders. The engine was produced only for the Japanese domestic market. In our area, a rare unit, so there are practically no statistics on operation. 4.0 liters six-cylinder engine with a power reserve allows you to disperse the heavy TLC Prado 120 to hundreds in almost nine seconds the engine resource with normal maintenance is more than 400,000 kilometers appetite in the city 16 plus liters there are no hydraulic compensators in the engine therefore according to the valve regulations it is supposed to be manually adjusted every 100,000 kilometers in practice valve clearance changes very slowly in reality adjustment may be needed after 250,000 kilometers and even then not always 
The chain drive easily runs up to 300,000 kilometers the current crankshaft well seals can disturb. If the engine is unstable and worried about the increased consumption of gasoline, then you will need to flush the fuel injectors. With our gasoline, it is better to do this procedure every 60 to 100,000 km for prevention. If it doesn't help, then you will have to rinse the tank and the submersible filter of the fuel pump. Diesel Diesel Prado 120 no more than 20% of the total on sale. Therefore, finding a decent copy will be more difficult. In addition, diesel units in our conditions behave more capriciously than gasoline ones. Buying a diesel should be conscious. You should not hope that you will save at gas stations, since the probability of repairing fuel equipment is 50-50. The engines themselves are reliable. They are ruined by poor service and low-quality diesel fuel. Officially, only a 3-liter 1KD FTV turbo diesel was supplied to Europe and Russia. The common rail fuel system is very sensitive to the quality of diesel fuel. If it is not possible to refuel with high-quality diesel fuel, then do not even consider this option. Additional fuel filters are a plus for engine life. Until 2004, 1KD FTV developed 163 horsepower S after 173 liters with the Arab 120th Prado can be equipped with a 3-liter 1KZTE turbo diesel or atmospheric 5LE. The first one with a mechanical injection pump is not so picky about the quality of diesel fuel. The masters know this motor, since it came from the 90th Prado. The second is frankly weak, but without extra expensive parts such as a turbine. The resource of the latter, by the way, is about 200,000 kilometers for Pratif's diesels. Timing belt drive in diesel engines. And this means that you will have to change it every 150,000 kilometers. The consequences after a broken belt are expensive to eliminate. It is also necessary to monitor the condition of the fuel injector gaskets. If at least one burns out, then the engine will begin to suck in air. Because of this, carbon deposits form in the oil intake. With the accumulation of a critical mass of deposits, well starvation and an early death of the engine begin. As a result, the European diesel is more powerful, but more capricious. Arab is almost omnivorous, but in a state of disrepair, it will also ask for money. Therefore, we repeat, choose a diesel Prado consciously, only if you know how to choose and maintain it correctly. Cooling system The main radiator of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 120 cooling system usually leaks after 200,000 kilometers. The reason is corrosion. It may be followed by an air conditioner radiator. There are enough options for analog spare parts on sale at a price of $60. The thermostat is often changed to Arab Prados to increase the opening temperature from 82 to 88 degrees. The water pump runs an average of 200,000 kilometers. Therefore, on a diesel engine, it is better to change it along with the timing belt. Chassis The suspension of the 120th Prado is made in the best traditions of Toyota. 200,000 without repair is not the limit. Previously, only the front stabilizer struts and CV joint anthers will have to be changed. The weak point of the chassis can be called wheel bearings. But they quickly fail mainly due to dirt and dust. Therefore, the method and place of operation are important. Even in the worst case, 100,000 kilometers, the hub should move away. The reliability of the suspension does not exempt from checking its condition before buying. Many consider the Prado chassis to be indestructible and do not look there for years, especially before selling it. Restoring the entire suspension will be a round sum, so be sure to do diagnostics especially if there is air suspension and shock absorbers with adjustable stiffness. The Prado 120 air suspension is a different story. There is a fan camp. The machine does not sag when fully loaded. More comfortable, as it is equipped with TEMS shock absorbers with variable stiffness. Inexpensive spare parts. And opponents. Additional service with comparable comfort. Air springs are torn. Compressor and receiver breakdown. Body level sensors are buggy. The truth is somewhere in the middle. At TLC Prado 120, air suspension is installed only on the rear axle. 
Under urban operating conditions, 200 to 250,000 km go without problems. Numo balloons cost from $100 a piece, sensors from $50. If necessary, the compressor will cost $200. Quite reasonable prices. Therefore, it all depends on your attitude to Numa. If you want, then you can. In extreme cases, the rear suspension is easily converted to a conventional spring. Everything gets into regular places without any collective farm. Also, TEMS adjustable shock absorbers are often replaced with conventional ones due to the high cost. Check before buying. By the way, KYB produces an analog of the original TEMS for the 150th Prado three times cheaper. On the 120th they also melt, you just need to pave a little and file transmission the gearboxes of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 120 are also designed with a margin of safety. Mechanics are rare. Until August 2004, the automatic transmission was 4 speed, after 5. This did not affect reliability. 200 to 300,000 mileage without repair is quite a standard indicator. Service life is greatly reduced by off-road sally, aggressive rides in the snow, and constant towing of heavy loads. Therefore, before buying a Toyota Prado 120, be sure to pay attention to any shocks when switching and the smell of burning on the automatic transmission oil dipstick this should not be. The probe, however, is only on a 4-speed gearbox. Changing the oil in an automatic transmission is not regulated by the manufacturer. But for a long and trouble-free operation of the box, it is better to change the oil every 60,000 kilometers. Four-wheel drive does not cause much trouble. The margin of safety of gearboxes is 250 plus thousand km you need to keep the breather clean. If it is clogged, then due to pressure, the oil is squeezed out through the seals. And with insufficient lubrication, increased wear occurs. In other words, a clogged breather can quickly kill the gearbox. Some 120s are equipped with a differential lock but it is intended for use in extreme situations and at minimum speeds. It's like the firefighters break the glass only in case of fire. Brakes and steering the braking system is not as thoroughly reliable as the rest of the components, often due to irregular service. In order for the brakes to work like a clock, it is necessary to regularly clean and lubricate the guides of the calipers and pads. It is advisable to do this with every pad change. Changing the brake fluid every year or two will also extend problem-free braking. In the event of a failure or woolness of the brake pedal, many servicemen are immediately sentenced to replace the GTZ. The part is not cheap, and it is not always necessary to change. It is better to start with the reservoir cap, hydraulic accumulator, and GTZ piston. The latter until 2004 is supplied separately, and after that it comes from the 150th Prado the margin of safety of steering rods is huge. But the splines of the steering column and the cross of the steering card in can disturb before 200,000 mileage. If on potholes it gives into the steering wheel, then it's time to change the elastic coupling. At famous services, the problem with the steering column is solved by replacing it as an assembly. At the service station it is simpler and with a creative approach you can solve the issue several times cheaper. Taxiing is not the strongest side of the 120th Prado. There is even a myth about his super propensity to roll over. There is some truth in this due to the high center of gravity and the roll of the suspension. But with adequate driving and a working suspension, it will be difficult to overturn the Prado. Electrician without third-party intervention, electrical problems in the Land Cruiser Prado 120 rarely occur. Most often they are associated with air and adjustable suspension. These are body position sensors, the failure of which causes the body to skew. Cleaning helps for a while, but needs to be changed in the long run. If the adjustable suspension does not respond to switching modes, then most likely the wire in the corrugation on the rear shock absorbers has broken most often the left. It is repaired elementarily, some even do it with a paper clip. Land Cruiser Prado 120 is a criminally popular car, so two to three alarms installed in parallel are not so rare. Just such an intervention can cause many problems with the electrician. 
especially if all this was installed by dubious specialists for inexpensive. Therefore, do not rush to enjoy several degrees of protection when buying. Evaluate how carefully the interference into the car components took place. It is better to change the voltage regulator for prevention every three years. If you miss its failure, then the battery will die first, and then the generator. Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 120 is an emotion car, it should suit its owner. It gives a feeling of comfort and confidence. The inflated price is largely based on the model's popularity and legendary reliability. But it has been stable for many years, and by selling the Prado in a few years you will practically not lose money. We'll have to try to find a live and honest copy. Pay special attention to legal verification, title, body, and frame numbers. Avoid actively off-road specimens in harsh conditions. All nodes wear out two to three times faster. The disadvantages include mediocre interior design and a rather critical age. Therefore, buy only after a test drive. Evaluate your driving experience and compare with the asking price.